Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I want to make sure this is loud, Yanni. So I have to uh, double check the volume. Good looking out and telling me that the volume was low on one of the videos. Hopefully, um, it's loud enough that you can uh, adjust the volume and hear it a little better. Um, but what I wanted to do with you guys uh, and see if I can break this down in an unscientific but maybe a visual term, an aesthetic term, um, because I'm seeing so many um, children, my people, looking for some kind of way to feel free in this um, actually beautiful country that we call the Americas, although the, um, it hasn't been beautiful. Uh, in terms of what has happened to us over the time period of being here. However, I want to talk about this Aborigine controversy and African controversy. And I want to see if I can talk about it in a term that negates all the books and all the things maybe appeal to just, and it may work and it may not, but this is my take on how to explain it because to me it is a redundant issue okay you can tell it from the mountain you can shout it out what does this mean if you look at the bible in the beginning the world was black it was out shape or form and any of those things and in the darkness god said let there be light if you are a biblical person so that means that blackness was first in the Quran, it states, Allah fashioned Adam out of black mud. Allah, God, fashioned Adam, the first human being, out of black mud. So if he had a color, what color was it? The color was black. Okay. Now, with that being said, If you, let's let's bring it up to something that you, take it out of religion, something that you can understand. If you have a baby, if you have a baby in an ice storm, or if you have a baby that's premature, or even if you have a baby that's normal, the first thing you know you need to do for that life to thrive is to put it in the warmth. Right? Let me follow me here. It's in the warmth. Now. The warmth of the light is what allows it to grow. Black, the first humans that were fashioned, that walked the planet, were close to the equator. They were black because they were in the sun. So they were fashioned out of black mud. They were black people. Now, just like a baby, a baby goes through stages. He likes to branch out. First, he can't move. He just lays there. Then he begins to look around. And then all of his movements are for the ability to branch out, to move, to keep going. It's a natural phenomenon with humans. You got to move. Just like when you get in your car, if you've been sitting in a house long enough, you got to get up and got to gotta go. You got to move. You got to branch out. You got to go. This is the nature of being a human being or a being that is human. That's what you do. You move the species, right? Now, we've already established that we got to be warm. And if you in the warm climate, it's going to make you black. If the sun shine on you every day, what you going to do? You're going to turn black. So we are in agreement that the first humans were black. I would hope, unless you some uh, 
Well, what is it? Six eggs short of a dozen, then we should be at least in agreement on that. Okay. Now, since it's the nature of the life to push out, to branch out, to grow, to keep going, to keep moving. That's why everywhere you go in the world, black people were there first. Because the nature of human beings is to branch out, to go. So the first Asians that you will see, if you look at their phenotype, as it looks like the Asian, but their hair is nappy and their skin's dark. Okay? Because that was that dark person moving and moving. At one point, this was all just one landmass. Just one. Just like anything else that sits on the water, it begins to break off and it begins to do that. Y'all already know how evolvement goes. Some people call it evolution. But that's what happens. So if it makes any sense for you to you know, go around and keep saying aborigine, that's fine. I'm black, I'm colored, I'm Negro, whatever. Whatever. My concern is y'all thinking that y'all are saying something that's going to make you special. That's going to make you not be affected by white supremacy. And sadly, my people, my beloved children, my beloved, I, all I can say is that is not going to knock down the system. It is a system that was put in place for us to be driven mad. And that is what you're experiencing, not what you call yourself, not what you are, not what any of those things. They're totally unimportant because everywhere you go on the planet, you are the original one. Everywhere you go, it started from black life. It's just like if you have a black cup of coffee, like, and the more you pour the milk in it, the lighter it gets, the lighter it gets. Some people pour so much milk in their coffee that it's just like, wow, really, really light cream. But the root of all that is still that black bean. The black coffee, that's still the root of what it is. It's just been transformed. And I don't know if that makes any sense to y'all, but to me, it makes every bit of sense that you be getting too caught up in this aboriginal, you know, I mean, of course, a rep, aboriginal and all this. Look at the, listen, when you go to Australia and you look at the aboriginal, when they call them aborigines, what they were, it's like the black people that were there in Australia before, not the ones that look like Mel Gibson. The original people, everywhere you go on the planet, black people were there, is there, and they were there first. So once you can understand that concept and all this other stuff, it just really, in my opinion, is just spinning your wheels in the dirt. Now, that's my opinion. Believe what you want to believe. Think what you want to think. But I think that we should not even waste our time on it, in my opinion. What's a more bigger concern? In my opinion, in my opinion, is to... Get our minds right because this is a war of mental attrition here. Okay? It's a spiritual warfare for our soul. So you have to, in order to get your soul right, your mind, you have to have your mind right, your emotion, your um, mental state. That don't mean you're going to be perfect, but you got to be aware of certain things. You got to start being aware of what is happening around you. And it is the system that is in place everywhere. That is keeping people colonized, basically. And, you know, I think I heard somebody's video, and I can't even say who it was, but I know that growing up in the nation of Islam, all I, and well, being a part of that, I never understood what it meant by separation, you know, and because not only did I hear the teachings of Malcolm? Not only did my father run the Muslim Mosque Incorporated here where I live right now, so my father knew Malcolm personally. Um, and I, I always had a 
problem because of the division in my home. And remember, y'all, a divided house won't stand. The compassion side of me always had Dr. King in mind. Okay? And that's why it's such a two-headed enigma for me. Because the ideologies, I know the highest ideal of and the highest mindset of man is to be able to get along with everybody. That's the highest ideology that you can aspire to. You know, however, it's too many isms and schisms. Isms, as Tyreek said, too many. So we are striving to get to the highest part of man. And if you can't, you're going to come back, in, in my opinion, and do it over and over and over and over again. Because the highest form, in my opinion, of man is to know that you are a spirit having a human experience. But you're really a spirit because whether you black or whether you white, irregardless of your color or all that, you're going to die. And you've got to be born into this realm of existence. Okay, some of us are born in a in the in 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 the, the role of the oppressed in that system, and some of us are born outside of the system, and pretty much does not determine how much money you make in this system. That's all irrelevant. Just like it's all irrelevant about what you call yourself. What is relevant and what is real is in this system of white supremacy, you will be judged by the color of your skin. You can be an Arab, you can be an Indian from India. But if I don't know that right away and I see you, I see black. And the construct of color has made this a nightmare for those of us who wear the beautiful, beautiful markings of the original man. It's just that simple. And we have a pray, uh, uh, um, encountered oppression. We have encountered uh, massacre, holocaust, uh, uh, trauma, all because we were born closer to the equator. So a lot of us don't want to even deal with that. A lot of us want to be something different because to be black or to be a nigger or to be whatever they say it is, you know in your mind it just don't feel good because of the system that has been perpetuated against us. So in my opinion, it's the system of white supremacy that keeps everybody crazy. It keeps white people from knowing the truth about themselves and their great scientists like uh, Lindell and Leakey that knew these things. It keeps them from knowing the truth. It keeps them from knowing that they're not better than nobody else. That, that It keeps them from even being aware that the crazy way they're thinking, thinking is a construct that was put on them by somebody. And so when you were born into that part of the system, just like the way you, a lot of us are born into this part, a lot of us know that we're more than they try to paint us as. Most of us know that if we're woke. But if we're not, those of us who are not, look at we, what, what we buy into what they say about us. They say we're negative. They say we do this, we do that. And those of us who have bought into that stereotype that we perform just that way. That's irregardless of any race, any creed. It's what you do to the human psychic. And that's why we call this place the mental house. That's why. Because I, in my belief, if we start dealing with our mommy, our daddy issues, our family issues, where we learn this crazy shit from our family, our belief system, you're going to find a lot of crazy stuff. I'm going to tell you something what I found out once I start dealing with this. I found out that you can see a person just like in slavery days, that can have children with a black man and be Caucasian and still have a lot of prejudices, still have a lot, and, and still have little mixed children running around and be full of prejudices. I don't call it racism because if you don't have no money and you don't set up any laws, you have no power over me. You just prejudice, just like I may have my prejudices against certain I don't like thugs. 
I don't like people that represent themselves like, you know, they're a gangster and they're going to try to rob me and this you know, or my family members. I don't like them. I'm very prejudiced against that type. Okay. So we all have the right. Um, am I as prejudiced um, against a fat person and a skinny person? No, but there are some people who are. There are some people who have those kind of prejudices. And, um, you, you know, so that's not my issue. What I'm trying to say here is I get it with the aborigine and all this stuff. I get what you're trying to say, and I get what you're saying. Oh, you know, I was in America's first. Yes, you were. Before anybody, you was anywhere, everywhere first. Any and everywhere first. Yes, I believe that. And I also believe that the further you branched away from the sun, also your offspring became lighter and lighter. And then there were some albinos even thrown into the mix from either any race. But when you understand um, melanin and when you understand the dark hue, the hue man, the, the man that's full of hue, the, the, is, is the dark. Okay, when you fix your TV and you put more hue in it, what does it look? That's the original man. And in my opinion... That's all it means. And it means that I am the Eve of the earth. And my counterpart is Adam. And he's black as, as mud. Okay? And I was black as night. And out of that light blackness came everything light. It's not the other way around. So I just want to throw that in there. And I hope it makes sense to somebody else besides me. <laughs> Leave your comments below um, and just don't get carried away with yourself. If you don't like my opinion, just tell me why you don't. Um, when we can do that in a healthy manner, uh, that would be fine. Because I love you all, brothers and sisters. People of the sun, people of the universe, I love you. Family, that's what we call ourselves. Family. So if you understand righteousness and you understand truth and you understand just how dynamic our programming is, you're a family of mine. You're a family member of mine. All right? So I love y'all, family, and I'll see you next time right here in the Mental House. Bye-bye.